So, you might have heard of a YouTuber named Canadian. You might also know that his fans send him lots of escape rooms for him to play them. You might also know that these escape rooms are free to download on his Discord. So one day, I had the genius idea to attempt to debunk some of these escape rooms for him. Here's how it went. In the first map, I immediately softlocked and decided to move on. In the actual first map, I spawned in a bedrock box with nothing but a lectern and a book. I immediately noticed that a piece of bedrock in the ceiling looked kind of funny, and I found out it was a block display. However, I had no way to get up to it, so I started looking for more block displays, and found the entrance to the next room. In the next room, there was a crafting table and an opening high up. However, when I broke the crafting table, there was a hopper behind it, with all of Canadian's escape kits! Unfortunately, they were all empty, but this gave me enough blocks to pillar up to the block display, which led to a really tall tunnel. So, I pillared up the wall, saving a block by climbing up the side of the lectern. In the next room, there were two logs and a barrier window to the next room. After a bit, I realized what I had to do. I made a boat. It took a couple tries, but eventually I was able to boat glitch through the wall. In the next room, there was an observer in a hole leading to a dropper. I placed the boat to enter the hole, but I came out on top of it. This led me to reach the dispenser, but it was locked, unfortunately. I had no way to access the items inside. Oh. I was going to go to the next room, but then I remembered all the blocks I had left behind in the previous area. So, I boat glitched through the wall again and collected all my blocks. I also found out that the tall tunnel was a dead end before I wasted too much time climbing up it. Having collected all my blocks, I boat glitched back into the dropper room, which I actually got on the second try, and entered the next area. In the next area, there was a hallway with a moving block door that had broken somehow. Easier for me, I guess. After breaking the copper block, I accidentally fell into the machine. Fortunately, I was eventually able to collect both pistons and the redstone. Moving on, there was a button at the end of the hallway, and then when I pressed it, it unfortunately moved all my hard-earned items. It also teleported me to the next room, which at first looked like some sort of trivia room, but all the doors led nowhere. So, I started to collect everything. I originally thought I needed to disconnect glitch through the ceiling with a door, until I noticed a hitbox in the ceiling. This turned out to be another block display that was hiding a hopper with some glass in it. Breaking the hopper revealed the next room, so I placed the glass and built up with the doors. In the next area, there was a giant pit of lava, so with nothing else to do, I jumped down. I happened to land on a chest with a renamed end portal frame in it. After looking around the area, I realized that I had to get up an extremely tall tunnel with just the items I had. It seemed impossible, and I even checked to see if I'd missed anything. With nothing else to do, I looked at the YouTube links on the end portal frame. They all involved duping. However, with this dupe glitch, it would still take a while to get the needed blocks, so I came up with my own dupe glitch. Oh my gosh, guys, it worked! So I started pillaring up the tunnel. Close to the top, I found a crafting table. Behind the crafting table was a hopper, and in the hopper was all of Canadian's escape kits! Using the kits, I geared up and summoned a wither for fun, which blew up some of the ceiling, letting me escape. Alright, next one. In the next room, I started out in creative. Anyways, I had to pillar out of this bedrock enclosure with just the items in the barrel. Since all the blocks I had were collectible, I first tried to pillar up with them to see how high the walls were. When I ran out of blocks, my tower was barely too short. I had to make one more block, so I went back down. I figured because I had wheat and mud, I had to make packed mud, and then mud bricks, so I could make slabs. I also turned most of my planks into slabs. So, I built up again. After I got up, I actually had a block to spare, so I guess it's a debunk? Anyways, in the next map, I spawned with the book in a room with the hopper. Inside of the hopper was six oak planks and a warp stem, and I had to crawl through a one block gap. It looked like the intended solution was to make a crafting table and then make trap doors. And I can't boat glitch out of the room because the creator actually made walls three blocks thick. 
Wait, actually, a boat would be useful because they're still cheaper than trapdoors, and you can still get to crawl. Also, they might be useful later, so I crawled through the tunnel by using the boat. In the next room, there was a dropper with brown and red mushrooms. There was also a pen of turtles, and under the turtles were some hoppers with a cornflower in them. Breaking the dropper revealed a hopper behind it with three copper ingots. Then it clicked. I knew exactly what I had to do. Remember when I said the walls are three blocks thick? Well, they're only that thick in the first room. The walls in the other rooms are only one block thick, so yeah.